Good afternoon. I'm on site here at Embedded World 2022 and joining me today is Andreas Burkhart, who is the Senior Product Manager at Digi International. And today we're going to be talking about the Digi Connect Core solution and in particular the Digi Connect Core voice control. So thank you very much for joining me today. Thanks for having me. So let's start by talking about Digi's Connect Core system on modules. Can you talk about the hardware and software platform that's provided and what benefits it offers? The Digi Connect Core SOM solution is an embedded module uh, solution based on ARM uh, application processes. Mm -hmm. So it's a highly integrated uh, hardware solution uh, which always provides a wireless option. So you always have a pre-certified, fully integrated Wi-Fi and Bluetooth interface as an option yeah. uh, on that song. Uh, it's also uh, very uh, power efficient. We provide a lot of support and hardware for power management and also in software. Uh, and um, it's, it's coming on that Digi standard SMT plus form factor, uh, which makes it a very scalable solution. So a device maker can actually choose uh, the exact feature set they, they need and scale the performance and the memories uh, to the exact product needs within a, a product line. So on the, on the software side, we are providing a complete operating system, which is Digi Embedded Yocto for mm -hmm. the Linux-based platforms and uh, Digi Embedded Android for Android-based platforms. And there's a lot of additions in these operating systems beyond the, the natural uh, BSP. We're also providing uh, a security framework called Digi Trust Fence, uh, which provides a set of uh, essential security features for device makers to secure uh, their devices. And then there's a number of services uh, around that as well. Uh, and not to forget is the vast collection of development tools we're providing, uh, really supporting developers and uh, keeping projects on the timelines and enabling quick time to market for device makers. Mm, excellent, some great features there. So what other features do the Digi Connect Core SOMs have that make them the first choice for OEMs around the world? Key features are really, just to, to name a few, is the wireless connectivity. We have, to have that pre-certified for global, global use wireless interface with Bluetooth uh, together. Um, another one I want to call out is security. We're really strong in security, investing a lot of our resources into that. And that's uh, been very important in today's connected world. So not just on the hardware side with uh, some of the security requirements being met there, uh, we are adding that Digi Trust Fence framework, providing a lot of features like secure boot, encrypted file system, uh, temper detection, for example, uh, things like that to really uh, make, uh, enable uh, customers and OEMs to build secure uh, devices. And then the third one I want to mention is the power efficiency. Um, we are are really um, playing, uh, paying uh, close attention to um, architecting the hardware so it can be uh, made into a power efficient product and then we do a lot of software support to scale uh, the, the levels actually to the actual performance needs of the product. Mm, fantastic, so following on from that, you're talking about a system on module solution. What is different to other vendors that offer embedded ARM system on modules? It's that rich ecosystem we are providing beyond the hardware module and uh, the pure BSP. There's a lot of additions and then uh, also the support that comes with that on the technical side, with the tools on the development side, uh, and then in general uh, for, for the platform. So we're adding in uh, a lot of extra things. Uh, I mentioned the trust fence security yeah. framework, power management additions. Uh, but also APIs for application programmers to ease their life and uh, have a common API to, to get their applications done quickly and mm -hmm. port it uh, to, to other platforms. Uh, and then uh, it's that vast collection of development tools as well. We have a tool called uh, Digi Smart IO Mux, which helps the developer uh, to um, resolve the pin multiplexing in a graphical way. You basically select the interfaces you need in your mm -hmm. product and the tool resolves that complex process of pin multiplexing for you. Um, and at the end, even exporting a device tree file to configure your Linux kernel or your Android kernel, mm -hmm. uh, and really taking a lot of risk out of design errors uh, with that tool, uh, and also um, uh, enabling compatibility between different platforms. Uh, so can, you can later scale between different platforms and, uh, and upgrade if you need more performance in a product and all that. Yeah, that really sounds very beneficial. 
So let's focus now on Digi's embedded speech recognition and voice control solution, the DigiCore voice control. Can you tell us about the features and benefits of this solution? Right, that's another key building block of that uh, overall DigiConnect Core solution, and that's something we have launched here at the Embedded World Show. It's, uh, it's fairly new. Uh, the, the nice thing is it's a, it's a full solution and it's uh, ready working out of the box. A developer does need to integrate a lot of different components to enable voice for their device. Uh, it's really working out of the box. And uh, we're working with a partner of ours there. It's a company called Voice Interconnect. Mm -hmm. uh, they have years of experience in voice recognition and signal processing uh, and even uh, developing microphones with beam forming support, things like that. All you want uh, to have available for a voice enabled solution. Um, we're running a, a 60,000 word language model uh, at the edge on that device and that is available in 30 different languages so really providing a global solution there. Um, it's, it's highly optimized to run on embedded devices so you don't need a power hungry, powerful processor. It can run on a Cortex A7 still leaving enough performance for the other application tasks. Um, Another key benefit of running this uh, at the edge is, uh, is the cost aspect. So uh, you are not um, transferring data over the network to a cloud service like an Amazon, for example, mm. uh, and then you pay for the service to interpret the voice data, right, to send back the commands. Um, so you have a one-off license and you have fixed cost and you're not accumulating extra cost when using the device in the field over the lengthy period it might be out there in the mm. field. That sounds really exciting. Um, and voice control is uh, interesting as a new way to implement human-machine interfaces. So can you tell us more about this? Yeah, indeed. Uh, voice control has been popular for consumer devices with the, uh, the Amazon Alexa, the, the Siri, the Google Assistant, right? Yeah. But we see that getting more and more traction in industrial and medical markets. It gets, gets adopted and uh, it has a number of uh, advantages over the, the traditional HMI uh, development. I mean, you, you can, for example, keep your focus on something you're doing, right, which uh, might, might need your attention uh, and not, not shift the focus to a device and control that over touch screen, yeah. maybe reading some values. You can really stay focused and still get additional help or do settings of equipment around you uh, through that voice enablement. So we really see that coming um, uh, into the industrial and, and medical markets. Yeah, there's definitely some benefits there. That sounds, that sounds fantastic. Yeah. Um, so can you tell us about some of the applications this solution is suitable for? Obviously, I know you've just mentioned medical and industrial, yeah. but can you go into a bit more detail yeah. on those? So it's those applications which require high reliability. It's mm -hmm. running all at the edge, so there's no dependency on a cloud service. So uh, everything that needs to be reliable uh, can make use of that voice control solution. And um, it's, it's really for any interactive app. It's, a, it's an next generation HMI uh, we're providing with voice and the, the market is shifting towards that. Um, with with cloud-based solutions, you, you might have a lot of de uh, delays in the, in the interpretation of the commands. You might be in areas where your cell phone coverage is not very good, so, yeah. uh, so you can't even use the device, so there's no reliability in that. And uh, with having that all at the edge is really making it a reliable solution mm -hmm. for industrial and medical devices, but any interactive application. Yeah, fantastic. So how does Connect Core voice control compare to sort of the other um, others that you've mentioned, you know, Google, Amazon, Alexa, or, mm. or Siri, you know, the, the consumer devices that we're using, how does it compare? Well, the main difference is that it runs at the edge and it's, it's highly optimized for embedded devices. As I mentioned, you don't need a power hungry, expensive CPU uh, or even an NPU, a neural network processing yeah. unit. You can run on a Cortex A7, that 60,000 word model I mentioned there, and still have a lot of performance. So it's optimized for embedded. Uh, really not needing that cloud connectivity. Yeah. Um, that's, a, that's a big advantage. And then the cost factor I mentioned, I mean, you're not accumulating extra costs, so it's really made for uh, industrial uh, and medical devices. Cool, brilliant. And as you've mentioned uh, previously, security is one of the biggest challenges mm. when it comes to IoT-enabled products. Um, so can you again highlight what security features the Connect Core voice control has? So with, with voice control, you can enable the full Digi Trust Fence security framework. Yeah. So that's independent of that. So Digi Trust Fence includes features like secure boot. So you can authenticate an image before you're actually booting it. And right. you can 
uh, verify its integrity so nobody has modified that along the way. Uh, you have encrypted file system to protect sensitive data. For example, in a medical application, uh, you would want to protect the patient data or other sensitive data or financial data, uh, right? And then we have a, a temper detection feature so you can detect uh, physical attempts to get access to a device. Uh, and that's prevented with the temper detection. You can take action on that and maybe uh, erase some of that sensitive data. Mm -hmm. um, those are all uh, essential security features device makers want to build in in today's connected devices. I mean, they're reachable all the time, right? They're connected, so they're yeah. reachable by attackers. And uh, we have new vulnerabilities becoming public every day. Uh, so device makers need to uh, protect their devices, not just at the time of development, but then also through the, the life cycle of the product, which can easily be 10, 15 years for uh, an industrial or medical application. Yeah, I think security is definitely one of the biggest challenges when it comes to IoT products. Mm -hmm. So how simple is it for someone to get started using the, the Connect Core Voice Control? That's the beauty of the solution. It's fully integrated and it works out of the box. Uh, basically, all you need uh, is a DigiConnect Core 8M Nano development kit. Yeah. Uh, some customers or people out there might already have that. So they can now download that voice-enabled image uh, from our documentation portal uh, and then flash that onto the device. They have to plug in a USB headset, reboot the device, and the uh, demo starts so you, so you can start testing and playing with the voice uh, application. Uh, and then the next step is actually to uh, request a full development license. We have a form there to request that license. And uh, by the way, we're giving away 100 free licenses as part of the launch promotion okay. uh, here. So um, be quick. <laughs> And, um, uh, and then with that license, you are uh, able to log into a, a portal uh, where you can modify that 60,000 word language model, for example, with additional commands. Yeah. A doctor in a hospital might have new words which are not in that statistical 60,000 word model. They want to amend to the model to use that as, as voice commands as well. Uh, and within minutes, you can create your own custom voice-enabled application. So it's really, really easy to get started. Yeah, sounds great. And what other um, innovative additions do you work on at Digi? Uh, we keep investing in security, and uh, I touched on that security service. So we're working on a security service to enable customers to maintain uh, the security of the device throughout the entire life cycle. So Digi Trust Fence is kind of for the development process to right. integrate all those essential security features, uh, but then you need to maintain that. And with that service, uh, we provide actionable reports to customer software builds. Their, their software build of material is scanned uh, and we kind of whitelist things and we provide some extra intelligence mm -hmm. to that. Uh, and then they get an actual report with the critical vulnerabilities they have present in their devices so they can take action on that. And that comes with consulting services to actually apply fixes to their software. Mm -hmm. uh, and that goes hand in hand with another innovative um, uh, service we're uh, just launching, which is the Digi Connected Device Services. That enables customer to, uh, customers to monitor those devices in the field. Uh, and then one of the key features is to apply those software updates in the field on a continuous space. So they have access to their devices, they can monitor and, and configure uh, the device, and then they can update it with the security fixes, but also with new features in the field. Mm, fantastic, well there's some great insights you've given us there and some great innovations that, that have come out. So thank you very much for your time and I hope you, you enjoy the rest of the show. Thanks for having me. Thank you.